All right, it's Friday, it's the end of the week, and uh, we have two more. Uh, this will truly be a, a double daily dose. Uh, we have two more pieces of armor, but they kind of go together, right? It's the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. So imagine for a moment, uh, picture yourself, and now that you have put on the belt of truth, and, and you have the breastplate of righteousness covering your heart, and then you have your shoes that are fitted with the gospel of peace, you have the shield of faith, in my mind, as I was prepping, I thought about it. It's almost like, like Paul is saying, now, now you're getting you're getting to that final place. You're going to put on the helmet, and, and then you're you're going to take the sword of the spirit. So let's break these two pieces of armor down. The, uh, Ephesians six seventeen says, "Take the helmet of salvation. Put it on your head. What what is the helmet of salvation?" It's your sanity. <laughs> Listen, life is stressful, isn't it? There are so many deadlines and appointments and things that we got going on, running kids around. And don't you ever just feel like, man, I just, whew, I am overwhelmed and exhausted. And it is, I don't meet too many people who say, I'm not busy. Uh, we are just running, 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 running. And it's easy to lose our mind, right? Our sanity. And so the helmet of salvation protects our mind. Let me share a verse with you uh, that I didn't share this uh, weekend, this past weekend. Uh, Paul writes another letter in Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. He says, set your minds, set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. One of the ways to restore your sanity is by focusing your thoughts on things that are above. What are things that are above? Well, things that are eternal. Uh, I have a friend of mine who says, I asked him one time, I said, Man, you just don't get frustrated about things. And he said, well, here's what I do. I, I think, is this really going to impact me in 10 days, uh, 10 weeks, 10 months, 10 years? And it's a great perspective to start thinking um, long term. And then when you start thinking about, is this going to impact my relationship with God? I mean, or is this just a temporal, worldly, creature comfort preference? Uh, how, how can I uh, reframe some of those stressors in my life? So Colossians 3, 2 is a great thing, a great verse for you to remember and keeping your mind set on things above and not on earthly things. Now, here's the second a piece of body armor that we're going to look at. And really, uh, the last one, and we did a deep dive into this one, it's the sword of the Spirit. Uh, Paul goes on, he says, after we take up the helmet of salvation, he says, go ahead and, and grab the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. So the sword of the Spirit represents your maturity, your maturity. And um, the Bible is uh, the only offensive weapon that God gives us when it comes to the body armor. And here's my challenge uh, for you when it comes to the sword of the spirit. I want you to make a commitment over this fall season, uh, maybe the month of October and November and December. From, from tomorrow to the end of the year, I want you to make a commitment to uh, read the word and to spend time uh, looking at specific scriptures that God is speaking to you about. You say, well, how do I identify those scriptures? Well, identify the arrows, the fiery arrows in the attack of the enemy. You don't have to memorize the whole Bible, but you need to memorize the verses that are going to help you defend and be strong when the enemy comes your way. So, for example, you battle anger, man, you better get on Google, you better get on version. you better look up about three or four verses when it comes to anger, or when it comes to lust, or when it comes to uh, addiction, or when it comes to impurity, or when it comes to greed, or whatever it is. Look up, those are the verses that you need really to sharpen your sword with so that you know, man, when the enemy comes knocking, when he comes my way, I'm going to be ready. Now, we uh, have been opening every day this week with Ephesians 6, 11. I want to close with it today, and then I want to tell you why I'm closing with it, all right? Ephesians 6, 11 says, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. The reason I'm closing with this verse is because this weekend, I want to answer the question, how do you put on the armor? How do you put on the armor? 
I'd love for you to join us, invite a friend. We'll see you Sunday at a row, uh, whether you're on site, online. We love you, we're praying for you. And uh, thank you for taking your faith seriously and taking steps to grow in Jesus Christ.